uh, Director Bill Hinman of the SEC a few weeks ago uh, said some very interesting things about consumer utility tokens. Um, he said that uh, if you construct a consumer utility token properly and if you market it properly, uh, then it would not be considered a security. Uh, and so right. what they've done is they are creating uh, regulation by enforcement. And the speech from Hinman, which said, come to us and talk to us. We want the technologists to come to us with a solution. We don't want it. We can't develop that. And I said, but you've stopped innovation here. So is there an obligation for the SEC? Unless we hit, we keep hitting Congress saying, look, you know, something has to move. And if we want to lose uh, blockchain to the Russians as they want blockchain, they've articulated, hey, we're going to control blockchain just the way the U.S. controls the Internet. You know what? Continue on this course. Uh, Bill Hinman said, and again, he's the head of uh, Division of Corporation Finance, who we're dealing with a lot. There are cases that they're going after, after where the token had utility at the time it was minted, and they're still going after it. And, you know, United it's States, just all right. The Internet of Information, as we, we know it today, in part thrived because there was that regulatory clarity in the late 90s. And we're, we're doing the opposite here. Here's a massive new industry that I believe without question will be, will underpin the future of our financial systems, not just around payments where Ripple primarily works today, but more, more broadly than that. And if the U.S. doesn't get ahead of this, if we don't have that clarity and that certainty. And again, I, look, I, I thought what, in my judgment, you know, when you're dealing with an alcoholic who doesn't want to admit they have an alcohol problem, you know, to say that we have certainty, we have clarity is like the alcoholic saying, I don't have a problem. Like, this is the elephant in the room, and I, I think, you know, what you've heard from Seagal, I think very eloquently, if we don't address this, we're going to fall further behind.